Yeah, well, we said this morning, Hayley McKeel probably hasn't lost a ton of bit of backstroke breaks at any level for the better part of two years, but she did get touched out last night from Peter Nelson in that 100 meter backstroke event. So Nelson, a great underwater kick. You can see there on the screen, going deeper than the others, staying longer under the surface. She's going to want to try an underwater kick the majority of this race, but once they get up and stroking, there's no one faster on top of the water than Kayleigh McEwen. So there she is there in the red suit, still doing about four or five underwater kicks, but just wants to surface and get into her stroke and save the legs a little bit for the latter part of the race. So McEwen just getting over the top of Nelson now. They're coming into that 100 ball, 58.75. It's, uh, it's a pretty handy split time again. I don't want to get too excited now, but that world record is 158.94. Owned by McEwen from November 2020, and she's starting to pull away from Nelson now. She's looking very strong out there, Kayla McEwen, in lane four. Uh, Nelson in five, she's uh, back over a second back there in second place. Adam holding down third, and then back to fourth in lane six, who's holding down four. Back in a little bit of power in this move. As we have a look at them through the 150 now. 158, nine is the order. 29, 22, so she is three minutes. Yeah, big third 50 there. So she'd have to come home about 29.7 if she wants to get under that roll mark. It's a pretty quick final 50 meter split, but she is pulling away from Nelson and Minna Atherton having a strong swim there for Go as the second place Australian. So she'll be soft. Into the last four, and uh, Kayla McEwen's well out Six, in front. Seven, she is eight, absolutely dominating nine. Oh. Kayla McEwen's going to be Oh, world class swim there from McEwen. She's earning up that one. She put in a huge middle 100 there. Just give her a 